So today we're gonna clean up a DeAndre Swift rookie. It's got a little corner stuff going on. The surface is messy. And then I'm also gonna work on a Panini Origins. Uh, they have a matte finish, so they're a little tricky to clean, but it's doable, so I'll give you an example. Thank you guys for joining me, like always. I mean so much to me that you enjoy checking out the videos. Uh, I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care. I make custom polishes, I make sprays, and um, I do this cleanly and safely so you guys can clean up your cards. And Look at me as a partner, you guys. Um, if you have questions or you need help or anything like, hey, Kurt, what would you do? I'm always accessible. That's uh, one of my favorite things about our wonderful hobby is the good guys and girls that uh, we become uh, card brothers and sisters with. But let me get on to it, you guys. So I was in a, uh, a break, and I'm not going to blame the breaker on this. I mean, I just got the Lions because they were cheap, and I'm a Metro Detroiter, so I'm stuck with these guys. But anyways, I got a couple of these rookie cards in the break, and this one has a visible line some soft scratch marks right there very soft little scratch marks and then it's got that all right so i figured it'd make a good demo card so let me do this guys before i'm gonna do i'm gonna polish it last so it's like uh you know you want to you want to do the maintenance first and then make it shine last so let me get a good angle here i'm gonna use my corner tool you guys for years, I've, I've been collect. I'm, I'll be 40 here in a couple of months, and I've been collecting since I was probably 10. And I've always been the guy that tried to, like, get dents out or scratches out. And, well, 20 years later, I'm still at it. You know, 30 years later, I'm still at it. But when I was younger, I used to use, like, I always would want to use just my finger if I could. But, obviously, your finger is your best tool, but you don't want to damage a card. They're so delicate. So, I always had good experience using um, a soft vinyl tubing because it won't scratch cards. I can manipulate it my finger because I make this tool like a pencil. I know it's a little bit tricky to see you guys, but if you want to see more, my website is kurtzcardcare.com and I have lots of demos and demonstrations you can check out. So let me get comfortable here. And what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to get a penny sleeve and I'm going to put it over that corner. And I'm just going to bring the corner towards me a little bit. And I do not press hard on this. I'm just trying to get that little bubble to go down. And being able to hold something like this, like a paintbrush or a pencil, it just feels natural. It doesn't, I don't feel out of control in trying to fix a card. I know you guys, like through all the great people I've met through my business and through social channels, so, sounds that most hardcore collectors are guys that also have a little toolkit that they use for their cards. And um, this one just always worked great for me. So if you have something that you're using and you want to show me, I'd love to see it. I love the inspiration. And uh, if this is something new to you guys, if you have never thought about fixing up cards or cleaning cards, I hope this is inspiring and get you excited to go through all your all your stuff and see what can be fixed or touched up. So... There's not really one way to use it, guys. You can use it like a rolling pen. You can use it like I'm doing just to drag that corner out. Whatever works. But just, just go light. I design tools to actually like be tools, not do the work for you. You don't have to work hard. And just so you guys know, there could be times where I've worked on a corner or an edge for hours. So I try to keep the videos like less than 10 minutes. But let's see what we can do in less than 10 minutes. <clears throat> well, we're already going in the right direction, it looks like. It might not be perfect yet, but you get the idea. Um, all right. So, I just have a little piece of fuzz in the corner. All right, see that? Isn't that cool? It did have a a pretty good bump on it. Come on, camera. All right, so there you go. Looks good, doesn't it? I can still see it a little bit. So let me go at it one more time here, guys.
I jumped into the break because uh, I still like Matt Stafford. I, you know, I got frustrated with him with the, the whole Lions in general for for many years, but I always thought he was a good guy in the community. And so I'll buy some Lions breaks and try to hit something of Matt's. But got a couple of these Swift cards in there, so check that out. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what the corner tool is really good at. And you guys, I also suggest a mat. This is just my card mat. This is this, this thick. It's soft, but it's not mushy. And it's good for working on cards. It keeps the back of them clean. And um, I don't have to worry about working on it. But like, see the corner? Much better, right? So now, now guys, I, got, I want to try to see if I can remove this stain. If it's under the clear coat unfortunately it's not going to go anywhere but it's too with that and with these little surface things I'm going to use my spray here in a minute the spray is really good at removing like oils and fingerprints but I can see there's more going on here so I'm just going to go right at it with a little bit of my polish <clears throat> and I'll give you a quick example of how to do it so my polish guys is clean it's clear it doesn't have any like abrasives or fragrances or colors in it it's just all natural stuff I'm I'm into making this type of stuff. I come from a background in automotive where I've made lots of polishes and waxes and shampoos, you name it. I've uh, always been a big car guy. So I use that working knowledge uh, to my other favorite hobby, which is cards. And um, it's been really fun. I, I always thought something like this would already exist, but I'm, I'm glad to be, to be here with you guys and doing it. So what I'm gonna do is, the whole card just looks a little bit dirty. So I'm going to go over, this is my polish, little circles up and down that line. It doesn't look like one of those heavy print lines. Sometimes those things are, a lot of times those are unmovable. I get lucky here and there if they're on the surface or they're light, but this just looked like almost like a stain. Um, if you guys collect prism cards, I'm sure you do. You, you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll have like a perfect card, but then there's some weird like foil bend or something underneath the the clear coat that you just can't do anything with. Okay, so that line is looks like it's movable. I can still see it in there a little bit. And there's like all kinds of little scratches and stuff over here. Let's try it again. And when I put the polish on, you guys, this stuff is made to be removed. It's not made to stay on your card um, or, like, enhance it by staying on there. It's made to strip it back down to the factory surface just so we can get the best shine out of it and make it look like it did when, when it was made. Yeah, this one's cleaning up. This works. So this is an absolute football. So it takes a polish just fine. It actually makes it about twice as bright. So let's, let me pick this up. I'll give you guys an example. Look, I even got, sorry about the out of focus, but look at that. It's like a mirror finish over there and that's gone. I'm gonna finish up the card. I got fingerprints and junk all over it. So. Let me do the same thing here, and then we'll move on to another one real quick. I have two for you today. And notice, guys, that I'm just putting it on in baby circles. And in theory, guys, like the way I make this polish is it's going to dry quick. It's going to dry to a haze so you see it, so you don't leave it on your card. And... It's going to dry quickly and it's going to be able to be removed lightly and it will pull whatever is gripping onto your surface of your cards. A lot of times you can use just a simple um, microfiber to clean a card, but as soon as I start seeing like lines and stuff like that on it, that's when I have to, you know, use the products and they work really well. For most, but like I said, if you guys have cards at home that you want to clean up or restore and you have a question, let me know. You can send me pictures anytime. So, it's going to, after polishing it, you guys, I'm just a little picky, so I just want to make sure this corner is the way I want it. I'm 
things going a little bit back and forth on that little bump. Yeah, that's good. I like it. It looks good. So, final step. Always use a a finishing microfiber, I call it. This is kind of like the ones that, you know, if you wear glasses, it comes with that, or a lens cleaner. Well, I am impressed with that one. I'm going to share this video with you guys. I like this one a lot. So, we had a really odd stain right through there that I can't see at all. And then we had a really bumped up corner. I focus on you. And look at that. I am very happy with that corner. Looks good. And you guys remember, uh, if you send cards to get graded, they check the surface is not only the front, it's the back too. I, I'm happy with the back. So that was nice. I like that. So DeAndre Swift now just become a excellent uh, running back for our Detroit Lions fans. And then speaking of Detroit Lions guys, I <clears throat> I, I still definitely like this guy, and I want to I want to see good things for Matt and the Stafford family in LA. Um, got this off eBay, and I know the origins are tricky. To you know, there's sometimes they're just uh, what am I trying to say? They're easy to get dings and dents and a lot of time they come from the surface sometimes a little bit touched up so at, gl at the first glance it looks really good right but let me show you a couple things there is a a line okay see it there's a line that goes all the way up and down this card and i know it's not in the clear coat because there's not a clear coat on this card these are like old school they're like cardboard and they have a matte finish i will not be putting spray or i will not be putting polish on this because the polish is designed for glossy finishes refractor type so there's that and then on the back you guys too there is a right where the number 54 it says all right you see it right next to this there's a line that goes all the way down it So what I'm going to try to do, and there's like some speckles and stuff down here. See right in here. I know it's just like fine, fine details, guys, but especially like I said, if you. Okay, there we go. There, I can see it better. There's a lot of scratch or like a. It almost looks like there's something on the card. There we go. Finally, thank you for watching that. I'm not sure if I can get it off, but I have been able to clean. Um origins before and here's how I go at it I use my spray and I use a cotton square so what I'm going to try to do first is get this line over here to go away so I'm going to put two little sprays of my spray on a cotton square and that's all I'm going to use on this card if I can't get it up then that's just the way it is and we'll live with it. But if I can, well, cool. Cause this card is in really good shape, except for that. And I want to avoid things pressed on the surface, like the holographic letters and the name and everything like that. That is on the surface and my stuff is good at removing stuff off the surface. So it would, could potentially remove foil writing. So stay away from that. Just go after the, the open spaces. Well, this is pretty good. It must be something like it stuck to the card in front of it. And maybe it just got a little bit of, I don't know, why speculate? The point is I can get it up. Still a little bit there if you look right to my, next to my thumb. So I'm going to go one more time, but it got lighter. So that tells me if it gets lighter, it's, it's possible to remove it. Yep, 
of that word. So, whatever that was is no more. So I got that part. Now, the back needs some work, you guys. The back is where most of it is. But if it's the same stuff on the back that was on the front, we should be able to get it up. So first I'm going to go after this here in the writing. New cotton square, always use new. Don't keep using the same one over and over. If you can see it, it's like a discolored area all in that area. It, like it appears like it's stuck to something. And also, guys, if you have questions on any application or anything like that, let me know. I'm accessible and happy to talk. And I make this spray. This spray is so darn convenient. It has gotten little faint lines. It's great for removing fingerprints and just buildup that you don't want to use a microfiber on. If you got too much, a microfiber is just going to spread it around. Um, I love microfibers, but I like them better for finishing the card when it's all done. Just final, final touches. This stuff dries quick too, so it's not going to leave spots or anything like that. It's not going to make you clean up after it. It is like a final step. All right, back to shiny. I still have a little bit right at the between the LA and the number 54. So I'm feeling pretty confident now because I got to pick up the other stuff. So I think this should come off with this application. And don't be discouraged, guys. If you see progress, um, just give it a second and go back at it or take a break and come back and do it again. There's literally times where I've cleaned cards for a long, long time. And uh, it was worth it. You know, I enjoy doing it. And it made it look great. So check that out. Sorry if you guys if my video went out a little focused a little bit today. But. <clears throat> it worked. And that was real sticky or like messy right in this area. Got that down. And then I got that line next to them taken care of. So just a spray. And a, and a cotton square works great for that. And you guys and there's our swift card that we got cleaned up so that is a quick demo i had a couple requests on how to you know clean up a couple modern cards use the card tool when when to apply a little bit of polish and all that so i hope that was informative guys i uh, i'm really happy with this how this turned out and uh yeah the origins is is cool too and i i wish stafford the best i he was always a good representative here in detroit so Guys, I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care. Thanks so much for checking out today's demonstration. And um, I am happy to demonstrate anything you guys want to see. So hit me up with any questions. And if you guys uh, want to, you know, place an order or check out any of my products, my website is kurtzcardcare.com. You guys rock. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.